Color is a really important part of my art. I like bold colors and I like pure colors. Maybe it's my life in the mission. I can't imagine anything pastel or pale. But also Tibetan iconography has a lot of color in it and Chinese too. Definitely the African-American culture. So I think I get the color sense from all the communities I'm involved with. You know, everything I do, even the silk screens, I don't pretend I know how to do them, but I think the strength about me is admitting I don't know. So then I go and ask people to help. And because I help others, they are willing to help me. Kearney Street Workshop started in 1972, and it was largely for the Chinese community. And in 1972, there were hardly any arts workshops around, so it was a big deal to start one in Chinatown. And uh, that's where my role as curator came in. Angel Island was actually our first show in 1976. A concerned citizen noticed that the Chinese detention center was about to be demolished, and he knew that we were interested in our own Chinese culture and, and um, the experiences of the immigrants. So he invited us to the island to see. We were astounded at the history we found there, and especially at the calligraphy that we found on the walls written by the detainees. We were one of the first ones to call attention to it, and eventually the place was saved. And it was very moving to see people's reactions and also to see the young interact with the old and to exchange stories. It kind of had a ripple effect on the community. Kearney Street Workshop continues on without me and without much input from me these days. That has been my pride and joy. If you have the confidence to let go, younger people will get involved and stay with the organization. So that's what I'm hoping for the future too, kind of uh, just be an instigator, uh, is instigator the right word? Uh, a catalyst, just be a catalyst all over the place and get people talking about their community.